Good day everyone, going to tour here again for a 2v2 Rome 2 domination tournament. And today I'm joined by uh, my clan mate for a co commentary. This is uh, OVA Conceivable. Say good day, mate. Hello, hello. And uh, we'll start the video in 3, 2, 1. Press play. Alright, so we've got Sparta up against Pergamon. And for Sparta, it's uh, Bard, Mr. Ligix and Socrates and for Pergamon we have the VOD clan and we have BX Baracus and VOD Hunnic Warrior so at the start they're just uh, jostling for formation here and position VOD looks like they've got the best position here eh bro yeah well they've both they've got both the hill and the forest advantage Mm -hmm. uh, especially on Sparta's left flank and their right, so yeah, but they seem like of, they're going to push down. Got a lot a bit, of things going for them there. Yeah, they're going to push yeah, down. Uh, a bit, so, yeah. yeah, doesn't seem. And like there'll be quite there. an interesting engagement happening on uh, Sparta's right flank with the two Tarentine cavalry. Yep. As uh, both Pergamon and Sparta are fielding Tarentine cavalry, so be equal uh, equal units. It just comes down to who uses them better. We're not going to go over the builds, we're just going to tell you exactly, it's just Hoplites and Pikemen <laughs> for Sparta. And for Pergamon it's just uh, Pikes, Hoplites and the Glacian Swords with a bit of... Oh, with a lances. sprinkling of Hippias and... Yeah. yeah. Hippias Lancers, yeah. Hippie ass Lancers. <laughs> Hippias! What's Pergamon rocking as a general? They're rocking Pergamese Nobles, actually. Yep. Pergamese nobles, and I think the other one's got the um, the noble spears, or whatever they're called. I forget what they are. The um, yeah, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how the uh, the added attack and charge bonus trades off with the lower armor that they have, and just be um, have to he'll have to be a bit careful with those and not engage them too. Uh, too willy nilly. Yeah, the Glacian swords are very squishy, so but he's got the upgrades on the Glacian swords as you can see there. But they're still very squishy units. Mm -hmm. So only one's got the pike front for Sparta. The other one's got the uh Periaki hoplites out the front. On the right hand side. He's got no pikes mm -hmm. actually. And we can just see right inside. Yeah, we can just see that uh, Tarantine engagement kicking off on the right-hand side as well. But Pergamon has a sneaky uh, unit of archers just hidden in the forest that will be uh, coming into play fairly soon, I think. Yeah, he's trying to pull them back into him. You can see he's uh, pulling back his Tarantines, uh, Pergamon, so he can get the, the um, archers into play. Mm. I think he's brought them pikemen on the left flank for Pergamon up a bit too far. They're getting all the skirmish fire now. Yeah, oh, he's just pulling them back at the moment as well, trying to get back into the forest and into the cover. Still in range, but it's going to be dangerous. I've already lost like yeah, one dude so far. Very, very static uh, armies from Sparta. Not yeah. much movement going on. Uh, starting to move up a bit now. But you'll see um, from VOD clan, who's Pergamon, they'll initiate the engagement because they're, they're pretty a pretty aggressive kind of clan when they attack. So as you can see now, he's moving up on the left flank, and he's bringing the Perg uh, the Hippias Lancers up through the middle there. So I sense that they may looks like it's going to come through, smash right onto the Perioki hoplites. No, he's going to do the uh, yeah Perioki hoplite cheese for sure. Yep. Well, here he comes. So he's yep, coming through. Just timing, getting the timing right. Mm -hmm. So he can bring his uh, infantry in afterwards. So, yeah, they're just hitting the line now. Not a bad charge there, all the way along the line from the, <laughs> the Paris Lancers. Slightly uh, mistimed towards the right, though. He doesn't have any units to come in and fill that void quick enough. Yep, for the right of Sparta, yep. He's brought him out pretty quick. Minimal losses there. Actually, some of them didn't get any loss. He's going to take the engagement oh. with the Tarantines as well. Mm. Oh, just getting caught there a little bit from Pergamon. Yep. 
But he's come in and brought his uh his Apaeus in to try and mop that up. Yeah, they'll do a good job with the skirmish. It's actually going through and going round the back with them. <laughs> Another thing I'm starting to notice as well is the Pergamese armies uh they're shifting heavily to the Spartan right flank. They are, definitely. And they're just sort of just just ignoring that pike front there. Yeah, they're just and holding the, uh, the Spartan Mm, the Spartan player really hasn't done much to address this, and his uh, his teammate is at risk of being double teamed at the moment. Yep, he's just sitting there, yeah, a bit stale from him. But um, yeah, they're just doing the the double team at the moment, and it looks pretty devastating actually. Mm. But the real Spartan generals Already. coming in now for morale. Uh, here we start we start to see a shift over. He's bringing. Uh, one unit of Pirioki Hoplites and the Heroes of Sparta over to help. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, that's a good move from him. Mm. Try and protect but the, just uh, here in the uh, skirmishes, yeah. Mm. Just here in the right flank of Sparta, again, you see all these Apaeus Lancers and Tarantine Cavalry breaking through. Yep. They're slowly getting into the rear of the formations and they could pose a big risk later in the game. Yeah, the Hippius Lancers just... Um, Hit the Gorgay skirmishes then. So that won't take him long to mop up them Gorgay skirmishes. You can see he's mm -hmm. making a move with the uh, Hippos Lancers with 51 in the unit right around the flank. And same with the uh, Tarantines he's got on the right flank. Oh, he's come in for a rear charge with them on the right flank of Sparta. Ooh. That's going to be devastating. And you can see him now bringing Quite over some more, some more Hippos Lancers. You can see them there. Yep, they're lining up. Oh no, they're oh, here we swinging go. back in. They'll look like they'll. Uh, oh, it'll be a good charge. That the will be a good charge. No, that devastated yes. them. Periaki hoplites. Oh, two units. Mm -hmm. hmm. Look at the blob in the center. At the at the back, we see some uh, Periaki hoplites coming back from routing. Yep. Jeez, look at the center. But, it's a big uh, blob, bro. Yeah. It's not good for uh And the pike, oh, pikemen for Pergamon just spread out spaghetti lines trying to get that coverage. The pikemen for uh, Sparta are going to go well in that engagement there. In the blob in the middle. Oh, yeah, definitely. Already up to 41 kills, so... Although they are taking a uh, heavy skirmish of fire from all the archers from... Yeah. Just from their, uh, just from their front. That's right. You got uh, the Gorgays firing yep. back. They're going to devastate the archers, actually. So, if the mm. archers want to stay there, it's a good trade-off. Yeah, and the uh, the uh, the Perioki pikemen are in the forest as well, so they get that additional uh, missile da missile damage cover. They have up to fifty-one kills, so they're going well. On the right flank of Sparta, it's, back on the... like it's uh, going well again. It's come back to them. Yeah, the, the heroes of Sparta have come in. They're, they're up to 118 kills. Nice. Just mopping up some of that cav and lighter infantry. The Hippias have broken free, though, and are now uh, hanging around in Sparta's back line. We'll see how they go. But yep. it looks like another Hippias charge lined up on the right into the back of the Spartan hoplites. Yep, we'll see that. He's going to turn around and face it, but he's going to get hit. And that's going to devastate them. He's keeping his, yeah, his noble cave out the back there, pretty safe. <coughs> and for the other general, it is the Agamus Spear general. For Pergamon. Oh, okay. Yep. Probably a good call at this stage. I mean, you really don't want to commit those, that sort of heavy shock have too early with the low yeah. armor. That'll be good. Especially when it can be such a tool late game. He's committed it now, actually. Probably a bit too late, he didn't time that well with the cav charges. He's pulling it back out now. Here we see the left flank of Sparta is uh, jumping into the engagement, getting a bit more aggressive now. Oh yeah, he's starting he's to sweep to, across. He's pushing up, I think he'll slowly be uh, putting some pressure on those skirmishes and just pushing them back a little. Yep. That poor old pikeman just getting hammered by the skirmish. It's gone. <laughs> for Pergamon. Yeah, it's gone now. But if he keeps pulling around that flank, he'll be able to lock off that blob. So he'll be able to come around mm. and lock off that blob in the middle, and then they won't be able to retreat or anything. So definitely. 
You see the, uh, on the left flank now, there's just a sneaky unit of Tarantine and Hippaeus Lancers looking yep. to get into those skirmishes. He's seen them. He's put the uh, pikemen as protection for his skirmish there. You can, uh, mm. you can see that he's seen them, Hippaeus Lancers and the Tarantines. Well, even for the Tarantines <coughs> to be firing at the pikemen isn't too bad of a trade-off in itself. Mm -hmm. If it just gets some numbers down, it makes it a lot easier to deal with later in the game. Yeah. I think he's trying to get this skirmish Especially in, in attack mode, but he won't get them. No. So that and it is, is also a... Um, pikes yeah. can be a bit of a trouble for Pergamon especially, seeing as they do go spear heavy and don't bring mm -hmm. a game of spears and tend to lean more towards pikes and just Galatian swords. Yep, them Galatian you are left swords out are squishy. With, uh, very squishy units with low amounts of precursor javelins. We look at that pikeman in the middle now. He's up to 85 kills, so he's had him in a good spot. Yeah, he definitely does see Quite that. Quite good for a pikeman. Definitely does see that Tarantine, and he definitely does see that noble cav. I mean, the hippius lancer at the back there. Mm. So then... such there's, there's so much skirmish though left for. Pergamon at the moment. Although they are only yep. archers, I mean, they can still pose such a big threat to, uh, especially the heavily armoured yeah. uh, heroes of Sparta and Royal Spartan units that exactly could be left right. late game. Yep. Now he's going to try and bring this uh, Pace Lancer out the back there. He's trying to bring it into the skirmish, but now you can see just all the three skirmish concentrated on it. Hmm. We also have a Spartan uh, Tarantine Cavalry charge into the back of the Galatian Swords just to try and bring on that attack in the rear penalty yep. and try and get a route, although they are being pulled out at the moment. Yep. That Hippias Lancer just got um, wrecked. Didn't make it to the skirmish. No. So it's not looking good for Pergamon at this stage. No, I'll be interested to see actually how their um, Hippias have fared because I see a lot of them on quite a, no a low number of kills for exactly their right. unit sizes left in the game and mm -hmm. just wonder how effectively they've managed to be used and if they've been picked off by skirmishes and the Tarantine cavalry. Exactly right, I think they have. That first charge they done okay but um, after that he kind of played them a bit, I don't know. Probably a bit too mm. passive. He also has the added hindrance of their the main engagements being in the woods. Mm -hmm. Slows down your charge, not going to be as effective. That's exactly right. Well, that general for Pergamon, the Noble Cavs just getting smashed by all the skirmish now. It's running out the back. And it's going to rout. It only got 52 kills. So that's not good. For mm. And it's gone. Not good at all. So Pergamon's only got the one general left, whereas Sparta seems to have both generals, does it? I can see one. No, I think that Sparta's only got one general too. Uh, yeah, can only spot the one. Yeah. But that that one general is a Royal Spartans with a full unit, full 120 unit. men, and 82 kills to its name. That is so excellent. it's doing very well at the moment. Shit, very well indeed. So it looks very overwhelming in Sparta's favour here. Yep, I'd say GG, wouldn't you, bro? Mm. Definitely. Oh, I'd probably be calling it around now as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Could have probably pulled, called it a call, just... but I thought um, Pergamon They've... might add something in the woods. Mm. Yeah. But this uh, this blob that's now formed is just... It, it, good for Pergamon to get its own back and just fire into this blob, get a few indiscriminate kills, but mm. it's not really going to change anything. No, not at this stage of the game. He brings in a late Galatian Spear. It's only got four kills for Pergamon. It uh, should have really been trying to get the skirmish or something. Mm. And that Hippias Lancer. Another unit of Hippias Lancers, only 75 kills. Yep. I mean, you want more than that from a heavy shock cave. Certainly do. And that's GG. And good game there by Sparta. It is. Very good game. So, um, for Bard, Mr. Ligix, um, his best units were the Royal Spartans and the Heroes of Sparta.
and your skirmish done excellent if you look at that skirmish mm. not a loss oh yeah mm. and the rest of his troops 100, 100 well. kills on one yep yeah quite a quite a nice army composition as well it was actually for Spartan. good numbers yep mm. and for Socrates um, his skirmish didn't go as good because he got um, hit by the the um, Hippos Lancers Heroes of Sparta both perform well mm. Tarantine Cavalry not doing too bad with 93 kills it's yep. quite good for that that's very good 67 and his uh, Spartan Hoplites done their job and so did the uh, Periokes actually and one's got 18 kills mm. but that's not too bad and for uh, VOD BX Bracus Hippos Lancers uh, 200 kills Archers done well not enough archers I think not enough archers and not using his pikemen as effectively either you see one that's completely destroyed for zero kills mm -hmm. another one with 10 and another one with 20 I mean just a, just a waste of pikemen could have gone with levy pikemen if you wanted to do that with them that's exactly right yeah and brought an extra couple or something in place of them uh, yeah maybe a, a hoplite get rid of that bring a couple more pikes mm. But for uh, Hunnic Warrior, his general only got 52 kills. His uh, Hippos Lance has done okay, but for the price, you'd want him to do a lot better than that. Hmm. Yeah, I think especially this is a you see this quite a lot with Pergmon the the heavy shock cav builds and all that. They they're good to a point, but you end up getting uh, overwhelmed at sometimes, and That's you right. just throw away or misma mismanage your heavy shock have That's and right. don't get their full potential out and probably the worst thing to bring against Sparta is the heavy cav build because Sparta's so tanky oh, with their hoplites yeah. so mm. definitely yeah that's right and you're going to rely on the glacier swords to kill hoplites um, I wouldn't rely on that no, no. it's never going to work not, not even with a not even with a frontal charge to try and break them up I mean no. they're still going to reform and they're still going to have that armour and in this case even the woods to help uh, batter, batter down that charge and just hold. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yes, yeah, so that was a good game overall. Um, thank you very much, Conceivable, for uh, yeah, doing this co-commentary with me. And, um, oh, happy to happy to come by and give a hand. It's too easy, mate. There'll be many more to come. So if you like the co-commentary <laughs> and you like the battle, uh, give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think. And we'll talk to you soon.